morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. So this is a book you've probably heard before. You might have read it a few times, actually. When I first heard it, it made me so sad that I didn't even want to read it again. So what I did was, instead of being sad about it, I rewrote the ending. So you're going to hear the new ending when you see when I read it to you today. Let me know what you think of the new ending. Okay, let's give it a shot. I have to, I'm going to present my screen and read it to you in the PowerPoint. Here we go. This book is called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. And I added another part to it, so I added with a new ending. Once there was a tree. And she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into a crown and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by and the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy, but I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back. And the tree shook with joy, and, and she said, Come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you can cut off my branches and build a house then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the boy. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My, tree, my teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You can't climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something but I have nothing left to give. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. 
I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is a good place for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. The boy and the stump sat together and enjoyed the warmth of the day. Then a young boy came upon the pair and said, Grandpa, I, br I brought these seeds to plant. Then we can have more trees. The boy thought this was a wonderful idea. And the stump quivered with delight at the thought of more trees growing nearby. The grandson went back and planted more trees every time he visited his grandfather and the stump. A forest now grows where once a tree stood that gave everything she had to the boy that she loved. The happy new beginning. So, what did you think? Do you like that new ending? Maybe you can put in the comments. <clears throat> Excuse me. That made me emotional. <clears throat> Maybe you could put in the comments what your thoughts are or tell me when you're in class. You know how much I love the environment and saving trees. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.